Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us. And on my channel, I bring all of this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, there has been this Ebola scare that is popping up right now all around Africa and such. Today is July 31st. There has also been a scare of it even entering the USA because it's only a plane ride away as they say right here. Well, the Ebola epidemic is very contagious and it also has a lot of symbolism from the infected monkeys and pigs to humans. See right here? My channel investigates things in a spiritual way. There are millions of people going over this this Ebola incidents and things around the world in their own detective way. I bring the spiritual side of the investigation. This could be part of the beginning of the end of days when some of the seals of the Bible are opened and huge epidemics seem to even be released upon the earth in a type of pandemic situation. And the Ebola virus has no, there's no cure for it. And normally nine to eight out of 10 people die from this incident. And it can be passed on very easily. And it has this symbolism, see the monkeys and pigs to humans? Well, this has been going on a lot and a lot of the other symbolism surrounding this right now. They come out with the movie, The Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and talking of the simian flu, which comes from basically a, a type of virus that had some things to do with monkeys and such. Well, that would be okay if it's just one thing, but it's not. They come out with a new TV show on called The Last Ship, and it's showing this virus that takes out most of the planet for everything. And they're the only ones trying to make the cure right here. Well, in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, they're doing the same thing, and then they also did it back in a previous movie called Twelve Monkeys with Brad Pitt and Bruce Willis, and they released a type of virus upon the whole world, and it destroyed nearly all of the humanity. Well, this could be coming. The Illuminati and the Freemasons, if now as we're looking for motive, opportunity, and the means to do it, and the intent for each action, they want to go underground while some type of nuclear war and holocaust hits the world. Over in the Denver International Airport where there are many bunkers already prepared, as well as many other places around the world, especially over in Astania, Kazakhstan, is another base for the New World Order for whenever this pandemic is released. Is this the signs of that we're nearing this time? Or is it just another escalation as I keep showing on my channel, they rehearse this, this escalation of pressure every month, releasing different symbolism and such, and doing things all around the world, just like the Gaza Strip War happening right now. That's, and it started right during a witchcraft time event known as the Grand Climax, which happened on July 27th. This is a lot of witchcraft going on with all of these things, showing we're nearing the time of the end, when the beast is released upon the earth. Well, they show this right here in their Illuminati box cover. See this guy up here? He wants to get to what's known as the fifth age, the age of the beast. He's running all the world, this clown. Down here, you can see this individual with this face mask and this new needle for the mark of the beast and for whenever that epidemic is released upon the world. Now, in here, in the Denver International Airport, they actually show this event coming. This guy getting up right here like a horseman. See him with his mask on? And as he gets up, all of these people are doing nuclear war. See, all of these wrapping up their weapons represents nukes hitting this spot. And this guy getting up, representing one of the horsemen of the apocalypse. And he gets up with this great sword to take peace from the world. And you can see he's ready with his gas mask for the epidemics and for the d disease that is released upon the world at this time. 
These are the raptured souls right in here. They are attached to the red rope of Rahab, which has a lot of connections to when Jericho fell in the Bible. And all of these people are going off to what's known as the Great Tribulation. There it is, right there. There's, there's the disease being released. And they have their bunkers and their things already. They release it in different TV shows. Right here. They come out with this TV show. And then they come out with a giant Ebola scare all around the world. Something that there's no, there is no antidote for this. None. Zero. If you're like in a room with a person who has Ebola, you would catch it and there would be over a 90% chance that you would die. <laughs> this is not a simple disease either. It, it can do what's called hibernate for close to three weeks sometimes in a person. In other words, you could come in contact with somebody and then two to three weeks later you actually have the disease showing. And then people have been infected for that whole time. It affects people differently. It's a perfect world killing disease. There's, and who knows if they really have an epidemic for this or an antidote. They might actually have one and want most of the world to just die off from something like this. And it would be one thing if you could trust everybody to stop it. The CDC is the type of government groups that would actually let it spread. They even have another TV show coming out right now called The Strain. And it shows basically the CDC helping to spread the disease all across the world. In that one, it's a type of vampiric disease. Now let's go deeper. It started right here in Sierra Leone. I show how all of the world is mapped out and that the world is a matrix. We're living our lives, God's controlling everything, and even when this disease is released, it would be time for it to be released. This is Sierra Leone down here. See right here? This is the place you're declaring emergencies already. See the people with their gas masks? They're ready for him to get up. For this guy to get up. And this is the time of the rapture event also. See that red rope is cut. The red rope of Rahab as they call it. And we go across the rainbow bridge to heaven. And this guy is up and going up across the earth. Killing and destroying. Right here in Sierra Leone. Well, in the Bible, it talks of the beast that rises at this time. It will have the feet of a bear, the mouth of a lion, which means like part of the church with them. The Catholic Church and the Jesuits have already set up things with Russia to prepare when this outbreak looks like it will happen in the USA. It will be one of the big parts of it, followed by even nuclear war or nuclear war starting it. But right over here, I show how all of the earth is mapped out to show what's coming. Everything. Right here is going to show this feet of this guy. Let's just put all this on here real quick. See this bear? This represents that beast. And they have the Russian Orthodox Church ready because the Vatican is slated to get hit also and taken out whenever this all begins. See how he has the Pope hat. Now this beast, just like Jesus says, in the left side is going to be the mark of the beast. In the right side is going to be the way to heaven, but it's going to be the guillotines over here. This is what rises after the rapture event. The pits are opened and the disease is released. You can actually see right perfectly by these lines. And this is where Boko Haram has been stealing the women. Right here. All of these spiritual events are the force of God and the two hands of God all around us. Jesus sits at the right hand of God. The accuser, Satan, sat at the left hand. He gets cast down. And then this left hand is basically all of this. You can actually see this person with this gun, look, it's perfect by the lines, giving this man the mark of the beast. And he's turned into a puppet. See how he looks like a puppet now? If he takes the mark of the beast. Right here, by his feet, is Sierra Leone. Just like when... Jesus' heel bruises the head of the serpent when the abyss is opened. On this side represents how you can get to Jesus if you have not gone in any rapture type of event or if you've just sur survived. If you survive to make it to this guy, this beast, you will have to either take the mark of the beast or go over here to the guillotines 
and he has a giant diamond. This represents you can go marry Jesus Christ, but you will have to lose your head. Right there. Look at this. This is how much of a matrix this world is. Perfect. God is real. And it's showing right down here like this is a key opening event. See, like this is a key. I showed this all around the world that this is mapped out in Washington, Germany, Russia, China. The whole earth is mapped out like this for when the day begins. See how the key is right down here near Sierra Leone. Right here for that Ebola outbreak. So all of, thing, all of these things are different parts of the end time events. Look at that by every single line. You watch a few of my videos, you'll start to see that this is all around us. This guy is going to get up. See him right here? Just like him? And he has the side of his head looks like what's known as the little horn. He's called the little horn of the Bible. Look at him right here. He's coming. That thing that's released right from here. So if anybody knows anything else about these Ebola things, let's start getting all of our information together. And let's just keep on going. Confess with your mouth, the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. This is shown over and over and over again, this type of pandemic coming, along with a nuclear type strike happening around the world. Even in these new movies here, it was shown the same way over and over again. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah. And there it is, mapped out by God. This is Russia. Right here. The feet of a bear. This will not just be Russia. They have the mouth of a lion. That means a type of pope. And they have the they had the body as of a leopard. That represented Obama in his role for all of this. It's actually right in here. Oops, sorry. It's actually right in this glyph. These are all glyphs inside this Denver International Airport. Here's the body of the leopard right here for the com completing the beast. Obama falls. So does Miss Obama. And the USA is burned with fire. Ten nations, known as ten horns, come against the USA in a sneak attack ambush right here. This is the rapture type event with the whale. All of us going up right here. As far as the day or time, we don't know. But this will be released when that happens. This giant disease will be all upon the earth. Thank you very much, everybody. May God have mercy on us all. All perfectly mapped out right there in front of us all day long. The right hand will be able to go to Jesus Christ, but they will have to go to these guillotines. See him getting his neck cut? And the left hand will be the mark of the beast. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah.